produced by MPI predecessor MK Rail at the same Boise plant that completed their MP36 successors, the Mark GP40 WH-2s were Frankenstein-like creations based on the cores of retired GP40s of the Baltimore and Ohio, the Illinois Central, the New York Central, the Penn Central, the Milwaukee Road, the Seaboard Airline, the Seaboard Coastline, and Sioux Line Ancestry. The Boise Rebuilders stripped the old EMDs to their 59-foot, 2-inch frames and extended their length to 62 feet, 3 inches, to accommodate additional equipment, including 600 horsepower, Cummins diesels, and head-end power generators, along with oversized SD45-style flared radiators and four radiator fans. Cab and nose components from scrapped F45s were grafted onto the frames, dashed to electrical cabinets, new wiring, and 3,000 horsepower, 16-cylinder, 645E3 EMD engines were installed. The fuel tanks were trimmed to a 2,000-gallon capacity and repositioned in order to establish the best center of gravity and make space available under for other equipment. The units were outfitted with rebuilt trucks and D-77 traction motors for a maximum speed of 102 miles per hour. That's a necessity for handling marked trains that operate on Amtrak's Northeast Corridor. As a finishing touch, Motive Power equipped the Jeeps with oscillating headlights manufactured by Translite, which was formerly Pile National. The end result? 19 essentially new locomotives that served Mark well replacing a fleet of second-hand EMDE units and Fs, including a group of F9PH rebuilds created at Boise from retired B&O F7s. Mark numbers 51 through 69 were delivered during 1994 through 1995. And working side-by-side -side with a half a dozen head-end power-equipped GP39 H-2 rebuilds, also from MK using GP40 cores, the GP40 WH-2s, handled trains on all three of Mark's lines. For more than 15 years, Mark's 19 Boise-built GP40 WH-2s were the backbone of the Maryland Transit Administration's Mark commuter trains serving Baltimore and Washington. But then, the sleek-styled Motive Power MP36PH-3Cs pushed the veteran Maryland commuter haulers into retirement. I came across a few here in the woods of Columbia, Pennsylvania, rusting in peace.